Hi, another free plugin today. It's up here again. It's uh, an emulation actually of a very famous scene from the 80s or 90s. It's an emulation of the Roland JV880. And basically, it's uh, a complete emulation of the chips and the ROMs that came with the unit. So it's 100% uh, reverse engineered. And it's from a developer from Italy. Uh, it's called Giulio Zauza, which is also famous for the emulation of the Roland or the Boss RV10, the reverb. I have a link here, up here. And also he made an emulation of the Roland MKS20, MKS80 MKS uh, piano. And the cool things about being an emulation is that you can use the factory sound if you have the original ROMs and I will explain you how to get the ROMs in a few minutes and you can also have all the emulation and all the ROMs for the different SRJV cards I think there are about 20 cards around and I think about they cost about 100 and maybe more euros each if you want to buy them uh, used of course because of not new and so we have all the emulation here so there are tons of sound in it and it they are pretty pretty cool i also have other videos coming in the next uh, hours uh, showing some of the sounds so let's start by installing it and then let's see how to get the firmware and of course first of all we need to download the software so you can find it uh, on github uh, there's a link down here in the description so it simply go here to the github page where you get the source code of course from for virtual jv and you get an explanation here you have a screenshot of the interface and yeah of course you will also need uh, the the roms and it's clearly stated up here because you will need the rom to use the software and we'll see when to find the software and the roms in a few minutes again and so first of all you download it from here you can decide if you want uh, the mac os um, audio units or vst or standalone or windows vst or windows standalone so you simply click here and you download your choice of plugin or standalone software uh, a single node on macOS, just because I'm running it on macOS, you will need to remove quarantine probably from the plugin or from the the, the 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 standalone version. And you can use this command here or use also Sentinel and I will show you in a few seconds. And yes, on Mac you will need to remove protection and quarantine because it's not from a uh, trusted developer but trust me you can do it without any problem so you can either go to the terminal and type this command here uh, we give you the command in the description so you can simply press enter and then you press and you type your password and that's it or there's also an easy way you can use sentinel which is a very nice and cool app you can uh, download it again links in the description or i have another video explaining you how to use this so you basically simply drag and drop your file on this uh, interface so for example if i want to unprotect and to remove the quarantine from the component which is the audio union version i simply click here and drag and drop here of course it's trying to open it but that, that's not a problem or i can i can even sign it in the in the app And then when you launch the plugin for the first time, you can uh, copy and paste all the ROMs in the required folder. Uh, and for example, on the Mac is the only hidden library folder. And then you go to JB880. And then you see these are all the needed files for the plugin to work. So we have the main RAM and the main, the two main ROMs and the web ROMs. And also there are ROMs from the RD50, 500, I don't know why. And then here we have all the different sound cards that are available for the JV series. So you only need to put all this stuff in the, the specific folder. I don't know which folder is on Windows. I can check it. I think it will be in the documents. But you can easily find out whenever you launch the plugin for the first time. And if you have made it up to here, you should be able to launch the plugin or the standalone application then to use the included preset. So you see here we have the factory sound and the factory sound from the RD500, which is basically a piano 
um, expander and then we have all the sound cards here which contains really lots of sound they are really sought after so let's have a listen to some of the sound and that's it for this demonstration on how to install it 